Hello, how are you doing? Barnabas here, nice to see you. Hope you have had a wonderful day. Today is Monday, um, the 9th, and I uh, just want to welcome you if you're watching me for the first time. Uh, this is your number one channel that brings you entertainment from Melbourne, Australia, and not just entertainment, but it also inspires you and makes you do something better. Today, we just want to make a conclusion uh, of this series that we began a few weeks ago. We were looking uh, into jobs that one can do when you move to Australia and you're still looking uh, for a job of your dream. Um, what can you do to uh, earn a living just uh, as you wait to um, start doing your dream job? I used my own experience, the jobs that I've already done, um, and so that I tell you from what I know, from what I've experienced. So after pushing trolleys, doing some disability support work, um, uh, doing cleaning jobs, and also uh, doing my business, my food van business for a while, uh, at some point I just felt maybe it's time to start looking for accounting job. I felt uh, I'm ready now, I've had my own experience, and at this point I was ready. And so I started looking for advertisement uh, in the internet. One day I saw this advertisement, um, uh, this college uh, was looking for an accountant, but just for six months. Uh, it was just to go and help the accounts manager. So I called the first day, the secretary, um, uh, told me that the manager is uh, in a meeting, so he will try. He will try and call me back, but I waited for the call that day, and he didn't call me. Um, I still persisted. The second day, I called, and the secretary uh, said uh, the manager is not in the office, but he will pass a message. And um, I waited for that call. The second day again, he didn't call. Being the person I am, when I feel there is something for me, I will go for it. So the third day I called again. And this time the secretary put me through to the manager and the manager asked me the first thing he said, he said, you are calling every day for the last three days. Um, yeah, what's up? I said, um, I felt the first day I called that there's something there for me. So even today, if you didn't pick up or if you didn't call me back, I would still have called again. And I think that really surprised him. So he said, are you uh, available today? Are you available to come? Uh, now, just a meeting, uh, we can meet and have a chat. And yes, I said, yeah, I was not working that day. So I jumped into my car and I drove. It was a little bit out of town. So I drove for one hour, went and met the manager and, and we just, became just friends the first day you know we shared a lot of things in common um and uh we just became friends and this manager said uh well you still have one more interview to do you might come here tomorrow and meet the principal of the college so i went back home and uh, he organized a meeting with the principal and i came the, i drove again back the following day and we met the principal and she also liked me and um, so after that, the manager told me, you need to go back. Uh, I'll still have uh, another interview with one more candidate, and then I'll make a decision. And the, the next day, the manager called me back and said, you got the job. And so that was my first step towards starting to come back to accounting. So that's how my journey back to accounting began. And uh, a six-month contract to assist uh, accounts manager of this college. But it also came with a fair bit of challenge. Num number one, it was not well paying. Compared to uh, disability support work at this point, um, it was not well paying. So sometimes you go to sacrifice, you know, you got to give something to get, you got to lose something to gain something. Number two is it was out of town. The college was out of town. So I used to drive one hour away from where I was living, one hour and one hour back. 
So it was 100k per hour. So you can imagine how, I think it was about 100 kilometers away. So it was a long drive, it was tiring, you know, every day having to drive two hours on the road and it was that speed drive. So you can imagine. Well, while I was so excited about the job, I knew it was six months, I knew it, it was temporary. So immediately you start looking for other jobs as you work. I was confident that with this experience, then openings will come and I'll be able to get something permanent. And for sure, um, the six months didn't end. Um, um, just towards the end of that contract, I got something full time. And yes, that was now the beginning of my journey in full time accounting and auditing. So today, instead of giving you advantages and disadvantages of this uh, job, I will share with you some lessons that I've, I've learned from my humble experience, um, some, some lessons that I'm still learning from this kind of experiences. Number one is that you must be flexible. Do whatever it takes at whatever time, and you need to be patient. You need to be patient. Be patient with yourself. You know, sometimes you feel you're not moving fast enough. Be patient. Things will work out with time. Number three lesson that I've learned in this humble experience is that no experience goes to waste. The things that I've done, the jobs that I've done, some of them just required experience from way back when I was growing up. You know, I just remember things that we used to do. Like, for example, I gave you an example of my food van. If I didn't have an experience helping my mother in the small hotel businesses, then I, I couldn't have known how to cook. So there's no experience that goes to waste, whether it's a bad experience or a good experience. And then also, sometimes you will have to sacrifice. To get something, you'll have to sacrifice. For example, Remember when um, I started doing this uh, casual accounting job, I had to sacrifice a lot. I sacrificed time, I sacrificed, you know, it was costly driving all that every day, long distance, about 200 kilometers every day, you know, burning the fuel. Um, it was tiring and it was less pain. You might need to lose to be able to gain. People's experiences are different. You know, my experience is not the model. My experience is just my experience. You know, it depends where you will settle in Australia. It also depends, you know, what network you have. There are people who come here and they do one job. They come and do one job and they stay in that job for a long time. There are people who like trying different things like I have. There are also others who come here and they get their dream job immediately. So people's you know, experiences are different. I just shared my own experience just to give you examples, just to give you examples. But what I would ask of you is, if you're planning to come, just be open-minded, just be flexible and be patient. If this series has blessed you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, like, comment, let's engage together. Please tell me which part of this series really uh, stood out for you. There are still lots of things that I have in store and I'll be uh, showing you lots of things from down here in Melbourne, Australia and other parts of Australia as well. Now till next time this is Barnabas the son of encouragement. Bye bye and have a good night.